steady, steady, steady. The green flag waves and Stoney Villanda gets the power down beautifully. And the Callaway Corvette from third on the grid dives to the inside. He's looking to make a move. It's three, four abreast going into turn one. Kyle makes a move down the inside, but he carries way too much speed. Goes straight on at the uh, first corner. Orders a contact there for that. Oh my goodness, there's a Bentley in the wall. The other Bentley it was uh, fortunate not to get involved in that as well. And also Parker Chase is involved there as well. So the uh, yellow flags are waving. This will be a full course caution. Replay again. This is all the cars. Spencer Mabelli got kind of squeezed wide there. And he and Alvaro Pret just made contact there. Right on the exit of the turn, right up against that wall on the left hand side of the racetrack. It's kind of an unusual incident to take place there and uh, most unfortunate both of those two. We are racing again here on the streets of St. Pete. Daniel Mann again weaving that car around the straight a little bit. He's got a healthy lead there going under the turn one. Scott Hargrove in second place, Tony Vilander in third. At the back of the field, Daniel Kalwitz already making a move on Yuki Harata for position. Now Baptista under pressure from Dark Kalwitz who looks to the inside under braking side by side through turn one. That's going to be dodgy. It sure is, and his boy Rodrigo Baptista does not want to give that position up, does not want that Callaway to come in between himself and the leader, Martin Fuentes. Certainly a challenging racetrack, and uh, Daniel Cut. Oh. Whoops! Uh, Porsche's going to be better in the braking. Hargrove down to the inside, all over the brakes. Morad trying to close the door, and they're side by side through the exit of turn number one. Morad's going to have to line here through turn number two, and then out through turn number three here. Hargrove pressuring the DeVilbis Mercedes of Morad. Yeah, you saw how quick that was once those two cars got side by side. Belander right on the back bumper, shower of sparks coming up underneath that Mercedes as he hits the bumps through the chicane into turn number 14 and back on the straightaway here. But Daniel Morad still leading the field. Hargrove going down to the inside again. Little side by side touch there. Morad's going to have the advantage here though down to the inside. Hargrove has to get out of it. Now Vlander onto the back side of Hargrove. Vlander's going to have the momentum coming down here to turn number four. He protects down to the inside. Vlander pressuring Hargrove now. Battle for first for the top three. Gotta get to see a half a million dollar GT3 sports car banging it off the curbs, bouncing it around, sparks flying as they come through the chicane. This is how racing should be. Pirelli World Challenge action here on the streets of St. Petersburg. Hargrove back to the inside. Daniel Morad, oh, they make contact again. Hargrove to the outside. V-Lander's gonna get around him now. Five car battle for the overall GT lead here. You gotta go back to Martin Fuentes, still leading in our AM category, and Yuki Harada in second, Rodrigo Baptista in third. And here comes Kyle Witz down to the inside. You see Christensen protect. Corvette goes back to the outside. Christensen back to the inside now. Can Kyle Witz try to protect? A little bump there. There goes Kyle Witz to the inside. There's a bump between them in the middle of the apex of turn one. The Corvette is through. Tony Villander is an awful lot closer as they come past the line. Looking back at our AM category, Rodrigo Baptista in that Bentley has closed the gap now down after that earlier mistake in that runoff area. It still is Martin Fuentes has about a seven second lead. Porsche versus Ferrari, a tremendous battle here. And only, what, a couple of seconds or so behind them now is Daniel Morad in third place. In the meantime, the battle for third rages on. Daniel Morad holding on just ahead of Daniel Karlowitz. Martin Fuentes, uh, he's already gained a new lap record for GTA. And the uh, checker flags are waving. Scott Hargo comes across the line to take the victory in the opening round of this year's Pirelli World Challenge. A tremendous debut victory. And Martin Fuentes takes the checker flag. He will come home with the victory, the, the champion two years ago in GTA.